I'm Darren the Magic Ghostbuster and in this video I'm taking a look at Kenner's Vintage Rapid Fire Ecto Blaster released in 1990 uh, so over 30 years old now. Now some of you may not be familiar with this so this come out uh, near the end of the rung of Kenner uh, Ghostbusters items and it's not something that was appeared in the TV show. Um, everyone remembers the proton packs, the traps, um, obviously you had other weapons come along. This was one that wasn't really based on anything. Ken had just come up with their own design and slapped a Ghostbusters logo on it. And of course, all of us people, even now, buy basically anything with a Ghostbusters logo on it. Certainly I do. Um, but yeah, let's uh, take a look at it. So um, start with the box art. You can see um, Typical classic Kenner box art. You have a nice uh, cartoon image of a ghost there. Young boy firing the weapon along with Peter Venkman firing his own version. Now, these are not that difficult to get out of the box, uh, but they are very rare to find in the box. And I think one of the reasons for this is because of the back, and you have these two ghost cutouts to shoot. So I could be wrong, but my theory is basically most people who bought these cut these out to shoot and got rid of the box, which is why they're so much harder to find like that. But um, as you can see, have the instructions here where you load it and fire it like that. So let's uh, open it up and take a look at the actual toy itself. Oh, stickers have just fell on the floor. The stickers have not even been applied. And here is the Ecto Blaster. So the stickers would go here and here. And let me just grab those stickers. Here are the stickers. So they would go like that. I'm not going to stick these on. I'm going to keep it as it is is now you have this safety here which you'd pull up when you want to shoot it and then that lets you shoot one of the darts out so what we're going to do is find a safe place to uh, shoot this and give it a good whack and there we go we shoot it i was being very uh, cautious with that i didn't really want to shoot it too hard um but these are the darts you can see they're pink um perhaps to resemble the pink slime from Ghostbusters 2 and um, it says soft tip dart they are fairly soft on the tip but they actually feel quite hard I actually feel like if uh, you could easily have someone's eye out with that they could probably hurt if that if you whack that hard enough because I mean literally you pull that back whack it and you I mean I guess how far you uh, launch it depends on how um, how hard you whack it let's uh, launch one over there okay <laughs> <laughs> still being a bit cautious there but um to reload it so let's put the safety back on undo this and then you uh, put these in like that uh, i might bother getting the other two yeah and that's why it's called a rapid fire basically so you release the safety and then you can um launch it and then the next one falls into place launch that and you have four uh, to launch basically uh, in a row uh, so yeah um this part actually reminds me a little bit of the ghost popper this bit here in the shape but yeah uh, I, i'll be honest this would not have interested me as a kid i don't actually remember seeing this as a child but for me it was all about the weapons that were in the show you know the proton pack the trap the uh, goggles um i must admit the ghost popper i really liked because it actually shot something out but I don't know. It's, it's hard to say in it going back. I mean, would I like this? I don't know. I'm not sure my parents would have been happy with these being shot at. They're not as soft as the foam ones that the Ghost Popper had. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, a bit of a weird... It's just, it just looks weird. I'm not really sure of the shape of it and all that. I mean, obviously, I collect Ghostbusters, so I bought it. Because I'm a Ghostbusters collector and buy anything with a Ghostbusters logo on. It's vintage. Um, lucky to find a boxed one. But yeah, I don't think it was the best example of a Ghostbusters role-playing uh, item, if I'm completely honest. Um, yeah. 
Let me know what you think, what your opinions are. Did you have this? Uh, did you enjoy playing with it? Um, like I said, I feel like this, I probably would have played with it a couple of times and then would have moved back to the other, other weapons had I been bought this for Christmas or something. But um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on it. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep on busting. <laughs>